BP has announced profits of $2.6 billion for the three months between April and June. That's down by around two-thirds on this time last year. The energy giant says it's due to reduced oil and gas prices and a higher level of maintenance activity. But environmental groups say its profits are still too high and made on the back of the cost of living crisis. Brandon Cook is at Aberdeen Harbour. BP is the latest company to release details of its profits. Brandon? Yeah, absolutely. Just last week, Norman, Equinor announced profits of 7.5 billion US dollars. That comes just a day after Shell announced profits of 5 billion US dollars. These are, of course, huge worldwide profits made in the space of just three months between April and June this year. But they all share a common theme of being significantly lower than the profits made this time last year. Why? Well, BP, just like their counterparts, benefited greatly from the spike in the oil and gas prices last year following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And over the course of the past 12 months or so, uh, that's gradually fell back. And experts say we're now experiencing profits which are more in line with normal levels. BP's profits this year are actually lower than predicted. The company say that's because they've invested heavily in maintenance work of their assets and invested in two new oil and gas ventures with Lower profits now seemingly across the board. Experts are beginning to wonder whether the UK government will consider rolling back on the windfall tax, which of course was put in place because of these bumper profits last year. But critics and environmentalists say that while these profits are lower, uh, they're still incredibly high and made off the back of a cost of living crisis. Brandon, I think the captain recognised you there. Thank you. <laughs>